Good morning, students. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. And today, it's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday, the 15th of April, 2020. Alright, so for today, today, tomorrow, and on Friday, we're going to have a different activity. Okay, since it's my new year, so we're going to have uh, fun facts. Okay, for my fun fact, uh, fun facts, um, number one is we're going to talk about Kamai New Year. I know you all knew that already, but um, since I, uh, I lived here in Cambodia um, uh, last 2013 until 2016, and I met my partner here, and I have my son here, so for me, Cambodia is my home. So I just came back from the Philippines this year, uh, last year. So um, yeah, so I am interested to know also more about Cambodia, um, uh, Cambodia's culture. Okay, so for today, our aim for today is that we are going to know what are the things happened or activities that uh, people do or Cambodians do for Khmer New Year. All right, so this morning I researched about about it so um, um, I'm gonna use my notebook because um, my board is only uh, li uh, it's not very um, what's this it's not it's not too big and then it will take time also to write all the informations I gathered in this um, on my board okay so before I start um, let me uh, let me, I want to ask, um, I want to apologize for the pronunciations of the word, for Khmer words that um, I may not say correctly, okay? So I think that's it. All right, so now let's have the word. Uh, first that I want to show you is the word Bon Chol Chanam Tamai. So Bon Chol Chanam, Chanam Tamai is also, it means Khmer. Kamai New Year in English. Kamai New Year. Okay, so we we know, or you already know, that Kamai New Year is celebrated for how many days? Every year you're going to celebrate it in three days, right? So you're going to celebrate Kamai New Year for three days celebration. Uh, celebration. So it's it's going to be a festival and also a holiday. But sad to say that this time of the year, there's a coronavirus, so we cannot go to, so, to places. Supposedly, this is a holiday, right? Okay, so what happened during Khmer New Year? So Khmer New Year, so most um, of the Cambodian people are, um, there's still a lot of people who are farmers, right? You know, farmers, the ones who plant. Uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, rice, corn, and stuff like that. So Khmer New Year, it marks the end of harvest season. So um, Khmer New Year also, um, it, it, it means the end of harvest season, meaning it's the time where the farmers um, harvested their crops. Uh, it could be rice, it could be corn, it could be vegetables. And this is the time to relax. Since the harvest season is finished, so it's the time for the farmers to relax, to have fun, to be with their family, and like that. So, um, based on my research, uh, there are three famous or um, games that Khmer people used to play. So the first one is Bas and Kun. Did I say right? Bas and Kun. It means in English, it it means seed. Uh, throwing. So before when I was here, um, I, I've uh, experienced like there is a, a pot and then they put something in it and then they will uh, blindfold you. I don't know if it's the seed throwing. Uh, they will blindfold you and then you have a stick and you just like uh, someone will tell you like oh go to the left, go to the right, stay in the center and then you're going to smash the the pot that has um, what's this like sand on it I think and then another one is Chao Chao Chong I don't know if that's the correct uh, how to say it Chao Chong it's uh, it means twisted scarf 
throwing, so it's about a scarf. It's like a, it looks like a, a towel, right? A scarf. We put it on our neck uh, to um, for fashion or for to cover in our, in our mouth as a mask. And then we have number three is we have liak can sing. Liak can sing or twisted scarf hide. So those are the English term for those kamai games. So as I've said, Kamai Yuri is celebrated for three days, not three months, not three years. But uh, it, uh, the Kamai Yuri year, uh, sometimes people will celebrate a week, but usually it's only three days. So today I'm going to uh, show you or remind you about what are the things that people do or Cambodian people or Cambodians do during this time. So, um, Okay, before we start, so Maha Sankran, Maha Sankran is an ancient horoscope. When we see horoscope, it will tell about uh, the, the people's future, the, a person's future, or they will tell a forecast. Oh, this will happen to you, blah, uh, um, you will have more wealth, um, blessings like that, based on the position of the sun, or the stars or the planet where in the people is born. For example, I was born on December uh, 19. So these are the uh, zodiac signs that Mahasankra is using. Uh, it's like uh, to foretell about your future, to tell about your future. So uh, this one is any order. So. Later on, I'm going to show you also like what are the dates, your birthdays that goes in this uh, sign. So uh, your signs also will differ depending on the year, especially if you are in the end of a certain caste. A caste is like, for example, Iris is from, just for example, Iris is from January to January, January, 16 until let's say February 17 but next year because there's a change of days you know lip year and stuff like that so they will change so uh, let's say for example next year Aries will be from January 15 until February something like that so there's a change of a day so it depends if you are on that um, boundary okay so these are the zodiac signs we have Aries Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. So all of those um, signs, um, be be before or even now, people still use those to tell about your future. But you know, it's not really science, but some people will believe it, right? Okay, so much with uh, the zodiac signs. So we will talk about... What are the activities or things that people do during the three-day celebration of Combined New Year? So first, let's go and uh, discuss about Mahasankran. So we know already that Mahasankran also is used as an ancient horoscope, right? And then sometimes, like before 2014, uh, the eight, uh, the combined year started at um, 14th instead of 13th. So the days also differ depending on this Mahasankran. Okay, so now let's uh, look what is meant by Maha. Maha means great. And Sankran means movement. Movement wherein the sun change or a star change to another zodiac sign, meaning a new uh, or it's a great movement, a change, right? Okay, now let's again. So these are the three day celebration, and each of this has different activities. So first we have Maha Sankran. This is the first day of celebration, one about the second day, and the third and the last um, celebration is the Leon Sak. And under Leon Sak, do we have Pitis Ram, which is a very, I think for Khmer people, this is also a very um, important part of the um, 
festival or the Kamai New Year. Okay, so let me read my notes. Like I said earlier, that there's no more space. So, in the first day, which is the Maha Sankran, um, this is where um, <clears throat> people believe that they will welcome uh, a new spirit. Uh, or, uh, and then in the morning of this day, so Cambodians will go to the temple and offer food to the monks and receive blessings. So, all right, first day in the morning, first day of, uh, first thing on the first day is they will go to the people will go to the uh, temple and ask and bring food to the monks and the monks will give them blessings. Second one is during the first day also the people will clean their house and decorate their homes and prepare fruits and drinks on a table or in their spirit houses to welcome new spirits. So this is also under first day. And then, uh, also during the first day of the Kamai celebration, the elderly people, uh, they like to meditate or pray to Dharma. So, uh, Buddhist people believe in like Buddha or their god Dharma. And then, uh, they also believe that any spirit that comes to their house or home will stay with them throughout the year and will take care of the family so that is under Maha Sankran which is the first day of combined New Year celebration now let's go to the second day so what will happen in the second day of combined New Year so on the second day um, the word for that is called one of what I don't know if I say say if I say right one of what it is the day that they or the people will offer gifts to their parents, to the grandparents and elders. So here is the time where people will give gifts, presents. And at night time, so uh, these are giving gifts and then prayer, gift, and then um, at night time during the second day, uh, people will go to the temple again and build a mountain of sand so on the second day people will go to the temple and they will i'll just erase this one and people will go to the temple and they will build a sand a temple of sand so here uh, one of them during this day they will um they will what they will build a mountain of Sand. So what do we do? What do they, what do they use it for? So the mountain of sand represents what? So they will in order to remember their ancestors. So ancestors are the people before them, like their great 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 grandma, grandpas, their relatives who have passed away, and then. They will ask the monks to give them blessing of happiness, ha ha happiness and peace. So, so mountain of sand is for the people, uh, their ancestors who passed away, who died long time ago, and then um, they will ask the monks to what to bless them with happiness and happiness and peace. All right. Okay. So on the third day. The third day is called Leong Sak. Leong Sak is the first day. So this is the actual first day of Kamai New Year. It meaning the, the first day of the Kamai New Year. Even though it's the last day of the celebration, but they say it's this, this is the, um, the, the first day of the new, the start of the new Kamai New Year. So in the morning of the third day, so this is the third day, the morning of the third day, Cambodians go to the temple. So mostly, right, they will all, first day will go to the temple, second will go to the temple. And here, again, they will go back to the temple and to perform a ceremony where the Mount of Sun gets blessed. So uh, the day before that, on the second day, they will go to the temple, give gifts, to 
their parents, loved ones, and then they will go to the, uh, to the temple and make a mountain of sand, right? And on the third day, they will still go back and make and have that um, mountain of sand be blessed. Um, and, the, and then after that, this is the last ceremony of the third day, which is, I think, is uh, for me, very important. So uh, the, sermon, the last ceremony is called Piti Sram. Piti Sram Pray. Piti Sram, one more here. Piti Sram, uh, Piti Sram Pray. So Piti Sram, uh, Piti Sram Pray, the purpose of this ceremony is to honor and to give a special cleansing to the Buddha statues, the monks, elders, grandparents, and parents. During this ceremony, the participants or the people who attended uh, the celebration will apologize or will ask forgiveness for any mistakes or wrongdoings they have made during the last year. So during this time, during uh, the last ceremony of the third day with this, the Pitis Rong prayer is where they ask, um, apologize or ask forgiveness, right? Of the mistakes they have made for the previous years or um, the year, uh, the, the, the things they have done. All right, so again, um, those are the things that I have uh, researched today. I hope you uh, you feel comfortable that I was doing this, and also I hope that you will um, be glad that um, I'm doing this just for you to uh, be more, um, what's this? To refresh and to refresh your memories about Kamai New Year, especially for this um, coronavirus lockdown. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. And please answer the questions regarding this. Goodbye and thank you.